No one is more familiar with hand and wrist injuries than professional athletes. So who better to talk about proper technique and equipment than the reigning welterweight champion of the UFC, George St. Pierre. George, welcome to Hand and Wrist TV. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. So I want to ask you about your, in your career, have you had any major hand injuries? I've been very fortunate. So I never had a major hand injury. I had some injuries though. Uh, but when you're, when you're a martial artist and you compete a lot, you try to to hide those injuries. You don't want to let people know. So I, I had some in the past, of course. As far as taking care of your hands, I mean, to, to prevent injuries, obviously equipment's an important thing. Tell us about, as far as wrapping the hands, that's very important to a, to a boxer and a uh, mixed martial artist. Can you show us how you would wrap your hands before you put the gloves on? Of course, the idea of wrapping, wrapping the hand is, if you, if you hit, for example, you, you, if, if you want to hit someone uh, with bare hand, you want to maintain the position. You don't want to bend your wrist, of course, because if you bend your wrist, it, it take away the, the the stability, you know, in your joint, and the impact will not be the impact will be it will not be where you want it. So right. the, it increases the, the 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 rate of injury. So when you wrap your hand, is I want to make sure it keep my my wrist. It give us support to my wrist for not bending at the moment of the impact. Another thing too is normally you, you, what you can use, you can put a, a little bit more padding on the knuckle. So you have also all the padding that you need on the gloves as well. So with all those two things, you make sure that it doesn't, it, it doesn't, uh, your, your, your wrist doesn't bend and it stays straight. So there is many ways to do it. Uh, I don't say that my way is the best. Uh, that's the way I use it. Sure. I've been using it for a very long time. Um, and uh, I'm gonna share it with you. Great. <laughs> So you see this side up. So I start with the thumb here, and I go. I like to go three turn on my wrist. One, you see one, two, and three. So I go down the wrist a little bit. Then I come back two turn, going back towards my hand. One, two. I like to go around after that around the the thumb here, and then after the thumb, I go around the knuckle. Here and I keep always when you another thing you want to keep a space you don't want to tie it up your 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 wrap your hand when it's when it's closed because then after the blood it will not it would cut the right. circulation so you want to make sure you have a your your finger is separated as much as you want so you go around the knuckle one time and what I do now is I'm I'm going back down and look look I'm gonna go back down on the wrist and right. come back between the the fingers. I'm going between the finger and when I'm about to go around the wrist, I close my fist because the pressure is not the same when you keep your hand open and when it's closed. So Got it. close my close my fist. And sometimes you can use another an extra band-aid on your shoulder on your knuckle as well. That's what I do uh, too. So you have the, the bandage, the, the gloves, and you have a, an extra padding that you can do, which is not uh, recommend for everybody, but sure. I like to do it. So I close. Then I go around. So we see now it's tie it tied up by itself because my, my fist is close. I open, go ar go around the other the other uh, space the other fingers, close. Then a little bit different this way. I open, go between the fingers, close again. Always closing at the end at the end to make it uh, tight. Yeah. Exactly. Not too tight. It's not good when it's too right. tight. You want to let it breathe. Right. So when I when, now is that the, the finishing now here, I keep my finger very very open, wide spread open, it apart, yeah. spread open. I finish around the knuckle here. You see, I can go one or two turn depending sure. how you like. And and I finish after on the wrist here. I can go going down on the wrist. You see, two and three. That's so, how I like it to do. You feel it's very stable. It give a good support to my wrist. So it's, you can really feel a big difference between my two wrists. So if you would try to bend my wrist, this one is very, very easy to bend. Very, a lot more movement, you know, and here it's very stable. I can move it, but it's very stable. So at the moment of the impact, it will keep everything tight. 